And Jack, you defected from the KGB in, in 1988, um, toward the end of the, the Soviet Union. Uh, but you knew the kind of place and the kind of work Vladimir Putin was doing in the, in the KGB. Uh, are you in any way surprised by what you've seen Vladimir Putin do over the last three weeks? Uh, may I first uh, end your monologue with an amen? Congratulations, you are the first major news outlet who gets it right. You know, I've been fighting others who, who you would describe, you know, superpowers to an ex-KGB agent. You got it right. Uh, so, and the other thing I have to tell you, your, your reporting and your, uh, uh, your analysis is excellent. Uh, congratulations to your team. So, so now I got this out of the way. Um, Putin is not a dummy, okay? You don't rise to the top of the, uh, uh, Russia and stay there for 20 plus years by being an idiot. So he's a, he's a masterful manipulator, chess player, but here's his problem. Uh, he, he built up this image of himself as this uh, the Superman. You know, the, he's a f physically fit. He has a black belt in karate. He goes hunting. He rides horses uh, with his chest exposed, and he, he beats uh, the starting lineup of the uh, uh, Russian national hockey team by scoring a bunch of goals. He, he started believing in himself. You understand the, the hierarchy that he built for himself uh, in this... Uh, 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 creates sycophancy, and um, the the most the most uh, telling uh, scene that I've uh, that I've uh, seen uh, that that's a it's a video on YouTube where he is interacting with the head of the SVR, the uh, the equivalent of the CIA, and uh, he's asking the, the the fellow the SVR fellow some questions. He doesn't like the answers. So the SVR fellow starts, he's, he's shaking, he's visibly shaking. He is, uh, uh, he's changing the words that he's using. That is the biggest failure of a leader. If you don't start, if you don't listen to uh, the, fo the folks, the, the specialists under you. And I guarantee you the most, uh, by the way, the most uh, capable intelligence services, the military uh, uh, intelligence service, the GRU, I guarantee you they knew exactly uh, what uh, uh, Putin uh, had to expect when he invades the Ukraine. I knew it too, by the way, because Ukrainians have a deep-seated hatred for everything Russian, not, not Russian people as much as the Russian government and the old Soviet Union. And uh, uh, that, that was to be expected. And do you, Jack, do you, do you think that that information and uh, that view existed, uh, but, but it didn't get to Vladimir Putin, that they were afraid to present what they believed to be the truth about Ukraine to Vladimir Putin? Yeah, it's, it's probably a mix. Uh, if he heard it, he, he, he denied it. It was against, you know, his wishful thinking. You get to a point when you think you're the smartest man in the room, that is when you start failing. I think that is his individual failure, I believe, not the failure of his intelligence apparatus. The, the, the truth was too easy to, uh, to, to know. The one thing that was not foreseeable is that we have a modern-day Churchill coming out of Ukraine. That, that, was a, that was a surprise. But it wouldn't have taken that kind of leadership uh, to, for, the, for the Ukrainians to stand up and fight and fight to the death.